Wait, wait, we have time out with the evaluators. Robert? Yo. Who's evaluating who? We'll have you evaluate Amanda. Amanda. You're going to evaluate Holly. Oh, yeah. Holly. Okay. <laughs> okay. My bad. I've been asking myself the question more and more lately, what is it that I am looking for? And this question has to do with the realm of dating. And it's kind of like a million dollar question to me because I can't seem to fully put it into words. I mean, of course, there's the, the kind of standard things and the foundational things that you look for. Uh, you know, good core values, good character, you know, steady, uh, mutual understanding, a connection and all that, you know, mutual life direction. But like beyond that, what is it that I'm looking for? And more specifically, how do I know when I've found it? We've probably all asked ourselves that, maybe. I don't know. And you know, there's there's all these sayings and these quotes about love, and like, oh, it'll it'll happen at the right time. And just just follow your heart, and when you meet that person, like, just know, you, you just know. And I, str I struggle with that, just knowing, because it's like, well, what happens when you thought you knew, but then it didn't work out? Like, where am I now? And then there's sayings that love doesn't come when you're searching for it. It, it actually just comes when you least expect it. And just as you're waiting, as you're waiting for this magical thing to happen, just work on yourself and do you. There's, there's a quote that I read the other day, I thought it was pretty funny, uh, a flower doesn't dream about the bee, the flower blossoms and the bee comes. <laughs> um, and I've learned, I've learned something about myself the past year or so that I really enjoy and value people's ability to be open and honest and just secure within themselves that they, they provide this sense of uh, openness and honesty and, and genuine conversation. And I think, I think this is why I, I don't really like first dates because that's the time when you you know you're putting your best foot forward and you want to make the best impression and you're presenting you know this the best version of yourself and you know I can deal with the butterflies and the nervousness but um, sometimes it just you know a lot of the same questions a lot of the same conversations and it can kind of be surface level conversation so I think in my experience and maybe. I'm just not in, in the right social realms, and that's very possible. But it can be sometimes hard to, to find people that, that want to go a little bit deeper. And then, you know, you have today's society and, like, this image-based culture is very concerned about how we look and you know, very materialistic, very consumeristic culture in America where you know, everything is about success and what you do and accomplishment. And... You know, with that, it just it kind of, it kind of changes the, the conversations that people have. Um, and then on top of that, I'm, I'm kind of more old school, you could probably say, or, or traditional. And in today's culture, there's, like with the internet, the internet really has changed the game of the dating realm. People, like on these apps, like Tinder or Playfish, I, I don't like touching those with a 10-foot pole because like they just, a lot of people, not everybody, but a lot of people get on there just to hook up and you know have these one night things and it's, it saddens me, but there's just, there's been a change over the past, I would say, decade or so, to a couple decades, where you see, you know, more, more families that are separated, where, you know, divorce is higher than it's ever been, and more single moms, you see all these all these changes, people's view on marriage has changed, people's view on divorce has changed, and more people are getting married older, you know, in their late 20s rather than their, their late teens, but in all of this, I guess my point is that it's, it's hard to navigate it sometimes, it's, it's hard to navigate this world that I, I live in, in some of my, my own values, and finding somebody that, that shares those values, and You know, things things kind of have become a little more casual, I would say, nowadays. Not not all the time, but... And so... I guess, I just I, I want to just communicate some of my frustration with it. And 
Uh, I'm currently open to taking relational advice, but if you have some good advice. Um, <laughs> 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 but the, you know the cool thing about love stories is that they're all a little bit different, and I am I'm learning to embrace mine. I'm learning that you know I'm in the process of writing mine, and that's okay. That that is okay, and I'm learning that I not to be afraid, not to be afraid to step out, even to you know get hurt, you know get invest in somebody that doesn't work out. Like that's okay. And it's in life's experiences that I will learn how to define what it is that I'm looking for.